Hi there, this is Danny. The channel's You and Me Living Free, and I'm gonna try something different today. <laughs> Rather than just rambling on and telling a bunch of stories, I really am gonna try to do a short, concise video that is packed with information about a specific destination. I'm gonna start a new playlist on YouTube called, um, what's it called? Pit Stops. <laughs> And the point of this playlist is just to kind of evaluate towns that are close to attractions that you want for things like Wi-Fi, showers, uh, laundry, places to stay, and things like that. So I'm just going to go through this list really quickly. Today I am doing Lone Pine, California. This place is right at the foothills of the Alabama Hills, also of uh, Mount Whitney and that mountain range. It's also just to the west of Death Valley. If you're coming in from Arizona, go through Death Valley on your way into California. So Lone Pine is a great little town. It is full of character. It's full of nice people. It had really good energy to me. So let's dig right in and tell you about the Wi-Fi. This is kind of funny. So the 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 first thing I do for Wi-Fi usually is go to the library and I check out the situation there. Almost every place has a library, right? So I went to the Lone Pine Library and they're only open about four days a week, about five or six hours a day. <laughs> so there was no getting inside, but even from the parking lot, which was really close actually, just a few feet away from the front door even, uh, there was no Wi-Fi signal available at all. You know how sometimes you'll go to a library and you can sit in the parking lot and still have access to the Wi-Fi that is in the library? Well, that is not the case. So then I went to Google and I searched how to get Wi-Fi in Lone Pine. And I came up with this uh, Lone Pine Main Street Wi-Fi. So basically you go and you park in front of the Chamber of Commerce. So here's the funny part. When you're there, you can, this is what it looks like on your phone, and there's free for one hour. When you get on the free, it is the fastest Wi-Fi you've ever seen. I uploaded like two 15 minute videos in less than 10 or 15 minutes, and I was astonished. So if you go there and you only need one hour of Wi-Fi, then you are golden. If you need more than one hour, they charge you $5 a day. And I was like, I don't mind paying. This Wi-Fi is so fast. So as soon as I got on the $5 a day Wi-Fi, it was slow as hell. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm going to use a swear word. It was super slow as soon as I paid for it, which is good to know for you, I think. Okay, so let's move on to laundry. Here's the laundromat. And it is, um, what can I say about this laundromat? It was cheap, I'll say that. It was only $1.50 to wash clothes. It was not pretty, it was not clean, it was not new, <laughs> but it was functional. And it did get my clothes clean, it got my clothes dry, and it was cheap. There were no bathrooms in this laundromat. You know how in, back in Page I was complaining that there's no Wi-Fi? There's not only no Wi-Fi, there is no bathroom in this place. So that's the kind of place that it was. But I'll tell you what, it did the job and I wasn't complaining about the price. So let's keep moving on. Okay, next is my favorite. Let's all say it together, hot showers. Okay, so I found this place on um, iOverlander and they were $10 showers. So it is not cheap, but it's completely unlimited, completely full of hot water, Definitely clean, not perfectly clean, but clean. So I was very, very, very happy to have this shower. Just look at that smiling face in the mirror. Can you see it? It's got a big smile, trust me. Okay, the next thing is just the grocery store and the gas. Both were expensive, but good. What, what can I say? The market is really good, but it's high price, very high prices. First you're in California, then you're in a small town. So we expect high prices, whatever. It is what it is. You're in California, baby. So uh, you've got lots of benefits, but you're going to pay for it. <laughs> That's how I think of California. Anyway, here's a place next to the laundromat called Alabama Hills Cafe. More than one person told me I had to eat here, but every single time I went by, they were full way beyond capacity, and I could never get in and get a little table. So I still don't know how the food is. 
But I'm going to tell you, as a stop, overall, I loved Lone Pine. They have the best place to stay nearby because you're in Alabama Hills. There's tons of BLM land, plus there's Tuttle Creek Campground. And I have a whole video that tells a lot more about that, so I'll put the link in the description if you are interested. Highly recommend Alabama Hills. Highly recommend Lone Pine. Have fun. Tell him Danny sent you. And you made it to the end of a video, but this was a nice short one, wasn't it, for a change? <laughs> you know it's me, so I still had to stumble around a little bit, and I still had to tell you a couple little mini stories, but we're done. Thank you. You made it to the end of a video. I appreciate you. I'm sending you love. I hope this helps somebody. I think it I think these little videos will help um, will help people who are on the road trying to decide where to schedule their pit stops and stuff. So I hope it does. Bye. Catch you next time.